Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel, back from my coronavirus uh, episode. You never know. I mean, it's allergy season, right? It's allergy season. It's allergy season, so who, who can tell these days? It's always but, flu season, too. And, oh yeah, it's good old flu season. It is also weed season. So one thing you can do, if it makes you feel good, is uh, get some real poison and just spray your weeds in grass and kill them all. If we could only do uh, the virus just like that, it would be a lot easier. So, if only there was earth-friendly weed killer. There is. I used it, and, and kill the <laughs> it made the greeds go beautiful. I mean, the flowers were just awesome. So, so I know there's this weird thing called something quinine, chlorohydroquinine, hydroxyquinine. Hydroxy hydroxy quinine. Quinine. Anyway, so some people think it's a derivative of quinine, and it probably is. Quinine's been around for a long time since England was conquering uh, India. And it was it helped with uh, malaria. Yep. So everybody thinks quinine is in quinine <clears throat> water, tonic water. That's be. like 0.04%. So there are uh, cocktails and uh, aperitifs that have uh, quinine in them. Uh, this one is actually called beer to make your life more complicated when you go in and say, do you have beer? This is spelled B-Y-R-R-H. And this is pretty much just grand quinine. So it's quinine in a, a wine base to make it into an aperitif. Uh, we're gonna start with this one, which is Bonal. Bonal is a combination of quinine and uh, gentian. Gentian's always pretty good. So we're gonna use that. So. One of the way, best ways to do it is always to put gin in something, don't you think, Mark? Um, yeah. I'll say yes to that okay. one. Okay. So I'm going to use an ounce and a half of any gin. In this case, it is the famous Top Hat Gin, Broker's Gin. There's my camera. Um, put it in the mixer. We do Bonal, which is uh, pretty kicky. It, it sort of acts like a Campari because it's got that bitter stuff. So I put a half an ounce of uh, that in. And to give it flavor, different flavor, to balance it out with something like a vermouth, but uh, quirkier, is something we've used before, which is the famous chinar, which is an aperitif made out of uh, artichoke hearts. It's really good. We've ask, had it on the show before. Yes, ask my friend Jim Brussman, he loves this stuff. He always had Strange. a bo he always had a bo bottle around his house because mm. he never drank it. <laughs> kind of like at your house. That's how much he liked it. Yes. Oh, so I'm doing an ounce of this, and we will get our normal three ounce cocktail. Uh, how much uh, gin did you put in? Ounce and a half. Ounce and a half. Are you counting in your head? I'm half counting. an ounce of the uh, gentian uh, kinkina <laughs> thing. And, you know, we've been making drinks for Barb, but, uh, you know, she's got allergies and she yes. doesn't want them cold, so I'm not she, shaking it that much. Oh, she doesn't want them cold. No. Well, that's strange. Right, because uh, makes it either. Anyway, you got to shake this for three and a half hours to mix, to get the gentian to, you know, Gentrify. infuse. Ooh, great color if you like the color of scotch. It's like the color, it's a color red, of old leather. It's a little red, isn't it? Oh, there. Can you drink that much? It's not that much. It's Sounds half a cocktail. Ounce and a half. Let's see. Well, Slung we can clink back. because. Did you notice we clinked around our, our glass? Our glass. We partition. have a glass wall. When he does the side camera, you can see the glass. So that even though we're not six feet away from each other, Doesn't we're matter. a world apart. It's like at the grocery store where they have the plastic shield between you and the clerk. Right, and then the clerk sneezes and it just explodes. You know. Interesting. Be good with a slice of lemon, but I didn't want to touch lemon and put it in your drink. I, I, I appreciate that, Michael. Now, you know, um, around the area, recreation areas, many of them are closed now. You cannot go to Aguirre Springs. So you don't like this, do you? Oh, isn't it like... Are you waiting for my comment on this? Yeah, I'm waiting for a comment. You know, continuity is what the... I understand. Um, you know, for a sweet drink, it's not bad, really. Uh, what drinks aren't sweet? Oh, martini. 
Oh. Martini. You mean something with sweet uh, liqueur? Something Scotch with dry. And soda. As opposed to <laughs> dry. So, but you could take this camping if you can find a place that's open. Unfortunately, you, you can't, you may not go to Aguirre Springs or you may not go to Dripping Springs. No springs. And you may not, and Soledad Canyon is also closed to the public. Hard to believe. You just walk there. I mean, well, uh, is there a bathroom there? There's, yes, there are outdoor restrooms constructed, but well, not, not, not Dripping Springs or, or Soledad Canyon, but Aguirre Springs has some nice constructed restrooms. But there's, there's plenty of hiking trails around uh, that uh, you can access that are still well, open to the public. You can just go out in the desert and, or just go up to the mountains and start hiking. Just walk out there. So you could go to you could go to Baylor Canyon Pass, which is yeah. sort of about an hour, not an hour, about a mile south uh, Highway of 70. Highway 70. Just walk we were over. looking for, you know, because we were coming from the north, and we went up this other path that a lot of people were parked at, and it's parallel to Baylor Canyon Pass, and people are camping there. They're just there's a lot of people. If you go up Baylor Canyon Pass, it feels like it's some uh, you know, Coachella. Uh, people are just living there. I've hiked quite a ways up there. When you get up pretty far near the top, there's a big meadow area. When I was up there, there were uh, nudists taking advantage of the area. Just Wait, sunbathing. Is, is nudists what you call poppies? Because I saw a lot of poppies. Is that when you're popping out of your pants? Well, you've already popped. You popped. And you're, now you're flopped. <laughs> you're <laughs> yeah, so. But uh, if you want to do the great outdoors, the Southwest Desert Peaks uh, area is full of places that you can access. Where is that? So, Southwest Desert Peaks. It's have all no over the Southwest. You mean it's around here? Yes. And you could walk around your neighborhood. You could do that if you. Yes. But you know, there's less virus out in, out in nature, right? Uh, according to Beth Pollock, she's been walking at a place called between Burrell College and the uh, sta the stadium. Stadium. And she said that's a nice walking path. It is a nice walking path. I haven't been there. They'll probably close it once we make this announcement because they know how people run to whatever we say. Uh, I know. Very we popular have that kind stuff. Of, we have that influence. I know. We make crowds. Uh, just well, see, there's nothing much else to do around Las Cruces, so you've got to make, you've got to find ways to entertain yourself without relying on other uh, people to entertain you. Well, a lot of people were going to the gyms. The gyms closed down. Gyms closed What's down. interesting is the, the health, the sports stores stayed open. I think a lot of them. Most stores Dick's are open. did. Well, Marshall's isn't and Ross mm. isn't. Mm. And uh, so I saw Fala's when I came to work here. Yeah. It's, it looks like there's no cars there, but Big Lots seems to be open. Oh. Because they have food. You know, Fala's. Yeah. Well, that's a Spanish word. You know, is it? In Spanish, Fallas is sounds means seconds. It does. Well, that's what follows Fayaz sells. It is exactly right. So I thought it was some Arab family. The they, they, they can't say they didn't warn you. Hmm. <laughs> so, now also... I'll we, have seconds on this. Okay. You know what else is closed? Recycling centers. The, the two ones we have in town. What? Not are, the glass one, is it? The one, I was over the glass one this week. Beginning of the week. The one on, on uh, West Amador? No. By the... Uh, the big by one? the dump area, that's closed to the public. The stinky one. And the one on Sonoma Ranch is closed to the public. Only authorized businesses are now allowed to use that because they have to do something with the waste they generate on a daily basis. Well, but you and I are, so my, I live in the county, Michael, we don't get a recycling pickup like you folks, like you city folk. You can't recycle glass. I go to the I gla can. glass recycling is really. Because I it, take it to where it is. Well, that's where I go too. I recycle glass, you know, plastic. Newspapers, cardboard, office paper. Considering the amount of wine we've been drinking, because we're just, you know, sitting, we've been drinking our good wines. We're figuring, what are we waiting for? And uh, and they have they have bins for green glass, brown glass, blue glass, and clear, clear. glass. So they've, they've got it covered. I have a bottle which was black. Barb convinced me it was dark brown. Just a sparkling wine that comes in a black glass. Fresnay. Oh, yes. It's a good thing we have this glass here, because I noticed when I said Fresnay, I think I fritzed it out. I, I fritzed You'll have to wipe that off I during the break, it. Michael. I'll, I'll lick it off later, because we didn't bring any snacks except for you. <laughs> now, here's another interesting thing. The uh, primary elections coming up in June in the state of New Mexico may have to be done by mail-in ballots only. 
Hmm. They may not open the polls to the general public to come and vote. So uh, you can you can request an absentee ballot, and they'll send you that. Otherwise, it's a mail-in vote. Otherwise, you're, you can't be absentee. Otherwise, I mean, you are absentee, right? But if you're out of the con out of the state, when it's you can't be vote, out of the state. <laughs> you know, it's hard to travel down. It's the, been 14 days. Don't worry, some people will do it. Okay. And so, make sure you get your your mail-in ballot. And if you don't get one, make sure you call the county clerk's office. And if you're going on a cruise, you know, it's hard to mail it in because they never let those cruise ships dock anymore. No, because you'll be stuck there for who knows how long. Yeah. Right. Hopefully they have a good cook that stays healthy. But, you know, one good idea I heard that, What's a good uh, idea? that the school district is maybe implementing, because a lot of the kids would rely upon the, the free lunch that they get at school as their main form of sustenance for the day. Sometimes they even have free breakfast. But they're not getting that now. So it looks well, like they may be empowering school bus drivers, who have nothing to do otherwise, to deliver these meals to the children. Well, I think that sounds like a good idea. Since the beginning of this, they were giving out free meals if you drive up to the school, but not everybody has access to that. Right, that's not... You just go and pick them me. up. But now, the people who were making the meals still have their job, and the school bus drivers will now be employed delivering these well, that's meals. Good. I think it's a win-win. You know, the other thing we have to remember to support is local restaurants and takeout. We've gone to three different places, and it's fun. I, uh, keep, I do that at least twice a week. You go to two places, three different places twice a week? To two places. A week. Once a week each. Where have you been? Well, I went to uh, La Nueva Casita oh, that's on Mesquite Street. I went to... Uh, I was worried about the small Mexican restaurants. Yes, they did you were you go open. to Habaneros? Habaneros is open. I went to Habaneros yesterday. Oh, did you get a chimichanga? I did. I love no. their chimichangas. Oh. I got two a green chili relleno, uh, two, two, yeah, two green chili relleno burritos smothered, one in red sauce and one in green sauce. They were so big, cut in half, it was enough for Alice and good. I to eat. So we still have the other one waiting to be eaten probably tonight. Even about 10 years ago, I think Dave Edwards said, oh, you should go get the chili relleno burrito there. Really? Yep. yep. And the great place I like about this restaurant is he uses no lard. Oh, that's what's good about habaneros. Olive habaneros is considered the best because that's of That's what I mean, yeah. Uh, and olive oil is what he uses to fry in and saute in. Mm -hmm. And his beans don't have lard, refried beans. Well, that's good. That's what I like about it. James Edward Olmos, who's a vegan, when he was here, he, he, he ate there quite a bit. Paul Files' daughter ate there. Good Just job. in case you want to know. He's a doctor, so his daughter must know things. Yes, like the, Paul. Speaking of chili, I had an interesting thing from Game 1. Game 1 was open. The Game 1. Yes. yes. And it is the, the turkey uh, chili bacon Monte Cristo. You can eat bacon, can't you? I would just take it off and give it to somebody else. Oh. Oh, you, or request they not put it on in the first place. Well, the chili, it's really good. And the chili, even though it's really hot, it's a welcome surprise. It really what? wakes up your, it's probably preventative. Uh, and a Monte Cristo is, is like yeah, it's grilled. Grilled with, it's sort of French toast. Exactly. It has a great texture. It they, was great. I forgot they actually dip it in. in they do. In they egg. dip it in and then they fry it up. And uh, it was surprisingly good. The uh, green chili is uh, surprisingly good green chili-esque. Some least, people always complain, ooh, that green chili didn't have any kick. This one has a kick. Did it, yes. did it come with the side of uh, syrup? It, it did not come with a side of raspberry jam, and they apologized. And they yes. said they'd give me syrup, and I figured, eh, I didn't okay. it. That would be good. Well, now, you know, you see people uh, we do. wearing masks more and more. Yes, I brought my mask. You told me we had a mask, what, three weeks ago? We wore masks on you the show. You brought wet masks. <clears throat> the only mask I could find was this one. Um, is this good? Keep it that way, Michael. Can you work this way? No, I take it back. Put it over your mouth. I'm starting to get sleepy. And put it over your mouth and it'll say that the, oh, yeah. the media is I'm being sleeping. muzzled now. I'm sleeping. No, but... Uh, oh, what? what? The reason, the reason you want, people should wear a mask not to protect you from others, it's to protect us from them. If they wear a mask when they sneeze or cough, uh, we're, we're, see, they're, <laughs> from, their, from their droplets, it's been uh, estimated that when you sneeze or cough, viral droplets can travel up to 27 feet. 
That's true. Well, I heard 26, but I'm not going to argue with that statistic. No, the way you sneeze, it's yes. 28. You know, I would hate to sneeze in a mask. You know, what if it comes with a load of uh, mucus? Well, you, you'll drown. You'll drown in your own sneeze. He died from his own sneeze. That's why we have the sneeze guard right here. What is that sound? What is that? Yeah. So anyway, it's time to take a to take a break. Is right it here? It Good. Is. Uh, don't break this glass because this is the only protection. This keeps us six feet apart in theory. Yeah, virtual six feet. Yes, virtual. So we'll we'll take We're a break. We're to take a break, and we'll be right back with ver version two. Okay. I of need our a break. Quinine cocktail. I, I was going to finish up my taxes in the break, so good thing I had that time. You found us on channel 98. Keep watching because we have so much in store for you. We want to grow together. Your channel, local and real. If we want to improve America's healthcare system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with a doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. We are back. This is Double Talk right here on the Los Cruces channel. It is. Hopefully you can hear us because Here on Earth is there to help you if you can't. What? I don't know. There's a piece of glass between us. So we're going to do the quinine drink number two. This is going to be made with the normal, we'll do an ounce and a half of a broker's gin, broker's which is a good gin. standard one. It's sort of like beef eater without all the uh, juniper. Beef. Oh. Without the beef. But it's a London I, Dry. It's a London Dry. I can't give beef eater to Mark because he's a vegetarian. Chickenitarian. What are you, a birditarian? I'm a flexitarian. You're flexitarian? Yes. You eat rubber bands? Is that it? You like things that are chewy, is that it? It's organic. <laughs> Can be. So anyway, this is with B-Y-R-R-H, beer. And it is pure uh, quinine as opposed to what we used before, which had a little gentian in. There's a good gentian drink called Suze, and you could use that for a number of things. We've had we Suze. have. We've used it. Yes, we've had a Suze on this show before. I think we did. We did it with the Burb Reynolds. Oh, yes, I remember that. <laughs> the Burb Reynolds. Okay, so half an ounce of a beer. And one of, one of the go-to things in bartending is this, which is Luxardo Maraschino Liqueur. And you could use this for some wonderful drinks. Um, Corpse Reviver number two for one, uh, or one for two. Of course, you want to do it discriminatingly so. What, the Corpse Reviver? No. Maraschino liqueur. The Luxordo. Luxordo. You don't want to make it too sweet. That's no, what no, I'm it's, it's an enhancer. You don't do it, you don't drink this straight. Although the other drinks we had, you could drink as a, an aperitif. Like Chinar, you could sit around your uh, pool and have your, your pool. You have the valet bring you a chinar on the rocks with a twist. Uh, maybe even a dash of soda would be good with it. It would be. A dash of soda does not hurt anything. No. You know, a dash of soda has the same effect 
is when we did our Corona drink, the Corona penicillin. Yes. We put the Corona in the scotch drink, and you know, remember what it did? Absolutely nothing. It just watered it down. <laughs> It'll de sweeten certain drinks, which is fine by me. Fine and by, yes. So one of the good things, we have some good friends. We, hopefully they're good. Uh, Deckers, they love their gin and tonic. And they love fever tree tonic. It's so a tonic. It's a, it's a tonic. And they really love the uh, elderflower. And so does everybody else. So if you are doing gin and tonics at home in this, your lazy days of, of the beginning of summer, I suggest a nice uh, cocktail. And once in a while you'll find Fever Tree um, at Albertsons on sale. And you can find it very often at Target on sale for like $3.99. But that's about the cheapest. Okay, this is a little lighter looking. Shall we? Ooh, it smells it. Wow. It's equally as sweet. It's but it solider. It's quite got a, a different solid. flavor. It does. And I think a squeeze of lime would be Lemon, yeah, a lemon slice would be good. Yeah, it would. The lemon would be good. But if I touched lemon, then we'd have to wash the lemon. I have to wash my fingertips. We'd have to watch the, wash the blade. So, yes, this is good with a slice of lemon. Yeah, we'd use hand sanitizer, but you can't get any. Yes, you can't. It's right next. <laughs> hey, actually, if you're looking for hand sanitizer in the store, it's right next to the toilet paper. Really? No, oh, the same empty aisle. Yes, that's what it is. Yes. And speaking of grocery stores. Oh, we want to speak of grocery stores. Shoppers are now advised to shop alone. Don't go with friends. Don't take a group of family. Uh, if you, you know. It, is that for here or husbands, New York and California? Everywhere. Husbands and wives don't need to go together. You know, somebody has to stay home and watch the kids. If, if you look like that while you're shopping. Yes. You won't be alone for long. Uh, what he's saying, Michael. Well, he's got quite the pecs. So shop alone if you can. I know some people have to take their kids along with them because they don't have a babysitter. I kind of feel very bad for uh, people who are stuck with their kids, especially, well, all the, all the Jimmys. Jimmy Fallon has his kids. Can I, can I inter interject Quickly. something? Late night shows, I used to watch them. I used to love Colbert to start off with, go to <laughs> Fallon. No, go to Kimmel and then Fallon. And Fallon is the least interesting because he's just uh, fawning all over everybody. Uh, he's too now, obsequious. Totally, good word, obsequious. Um, right now, he's with his kids. It is the most cute and intimate and honest show I've ever seen. Oh, you've got the word boring. It's not boring. I like it. It's really cute. I don't he, think it's good TV. Though. He has his wife talking about when they met and all sorts of things. I can see that on YouTube. What do I need to, you know... You could, but you know, you don't want to keep changing channels. Um, and uh, Colbert, uh, you, you know, some people do need a laugh track. Yes. Like us. Where's our laugh track? Do we? I haven't heard anybody laughing. Don't worry, don't worry Michael. Our audience is laughing on the inside. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Stay inside. Listen, you've heard that hospitals, if you have the virus, you shouldn't go to the hospital. You should uh, stay home unless you, your systems get very bad. Now, they're building uh, auxiliary hospitals next to the hospital so that if you have the virus, you go there instead of the hospital. How are but, you doing? But uh, it, we've come to find out that hospital workers are stealing the masks that they wear over their face. You are hearing it from yes. which sources? It's, it was so, in the news. Which news? No. My news. Oh, your news. Hospital workers well, are stealing all masks, sorts of things. taking them home even for their friends and family, or selling them. So we're, we're doing this show two days ago. As of two days ago, there were 23 people in Donana County that apparently had, were tested positive. Yes. And uh, some of them are, you know, self-quarantined. Uh, Good. Um, somebody told our friend Tom Levy that uh, there were 80 people, not 80, 40 people at uh, Memorial Medical Center with the uh, coronavirus. The virus. And so, here, I mean, that's a rumor. And we've had... And it may not be true. We've had a problem getting enough masks. Is that, now, is that a China is going to be sending us masks. Which they're going to... Millions of masks. Now, they've already sent us the virus. Now they're going to send us masks with virus? Yes. But they might well, as well send us blankets with uh, smallpox. Well, they've used the masks for their virus. They might as well use it for yeah, ours. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to recycle a yeah, good no, mask. I think so. That's, exactly. It's, it's logical. Now, you know, you're it's like to, one of those Chinese finger things. You stick your finger in it and you yeah. can't get it out. You know, when you cough, you're supposed to cough into your elbow, right? 
Now, if only Trump would lie into his elbow, <laughs> then nobody would know. We'd all be a lot better things. off because, you know, he, into he's been downplaying the crisis and lying about it, and that just makes it worse. He so, first said it was a hoax, a Democratic hoax. Then he said it will disappear like a miracle, which uh, means he, he believes in miracles more than he does science. Well, because he doesn't understand science. But uh, we do have the fact that, uh, you know, it turned into April. That's when it's going to be gone because the weather gets rid of the virus. Oh, well, yes. Well, I, that's what I heard on well, TV from this guy who has orange hair. Well, you know, Wuhan, China, where the virus began, is also where the first 5G technology was introduced. I don't know if there's a correlation or yes, not. Yes, because it, it, it goes further. Well, 5G is really very unhealthful. It's almost like a microwave. The waves are so close together. Um, is that it, what it is? It's known to cause cancer in children and others. Uh, in California, when they tested it, oh, an entire flock of birds fell dead to the ground. Um, that means they're going to have to be setting up more towers around town because the, because the wavelength is so small, it needs boosting constantly. But we get rid of those disease-carrying birds. That's good, isn't it? Good? Is that good? Is that where where did the coronavirus come from? It came from bats, and they congregate with birds. Well, you can that's imagine. Just, that's a cover story. Cover story it was is created that, in, a, uh, in, a, in a laboratory in China. Uh, of what? Uh, Putin? Coronavirus. Putin, China. China. Why would um, they bother? Now, Film Las Cruces, which is our our local film constabulary, uh, they've organized a a um, at home movie contest. Yeah, you can make movies. How long is the movie supposed to be? Did you, did you read that part? Three to four minutes. Uh, wow. So they have different categories. Man. And, and they're going to be giving out awards for the best short, three to five minutes, best family film, three to five minutes, and the best PSA, public service announcement. And it has to be about social distancing. And it's a $50 award for each category. And you have to submit by what, April 20th? You, yeah, it's, it's over. Between, it goes between now and April 20th. And who do you, well, you just said it into you the film. Submit it to filmfreeway.com slash at home movie contest. Let, let me just put one plug in for you. Mark did a movie a couple of years ago that is now, it's on our YouTube thing. And he gets responses, how many years ago is that? Three? Six, six years. Six, that's how long it's been on. Yep. He still gets people saying, man, what's that song you're playing? Man, yeah. those, what yeah, kind man. of car is that? What a brilliant film he goes, that you he created. Goes, Who's the genius behind this? So I, that's the ones I answer. I said, oh, my God, I'm down. I'm too humble. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> now also, Film Las Cruces has a new director of the organization. Good His picture. name is that's Don Gray. That's probably copywritten. His name is Don Gray. He, and he's, he came down from Albuquerque. He has lots of uh, he has years of experience in the film industry, and uh, so welcome, Don. I'm sure we'll be meeting you. Hopefully, we'll meet you Maybe in have you person on the show one day. and bump elbows. Absolutely. I'd love to bump elbows or kick feet or whatever we do or namaste you. Now you know namaste. the governor of Florida finally closed down the state. You know <clears throat> because the virus. Well, the states started closing down other states. Mm. And the states started closing down other states? And, well, no. Uh, what? Spring break came just as every, all the other states were shutting down. And all the schools shut down during spring break. So now these kids have spring break till August. And oh, Florida said, come here. and Because they were making a lot of money off the uh, all Spring the business. break is, you know, if you could make spring break longer than three weeks, you have your money. If be but if people aren't confined to state lines, neither is the virus. That's true. And what's Joe Diffie? He died. Joe Diffie died. He, big, big, big country star. And the Marcellus brother's father died. He was like 85. Yeah, so that's about all the time we have, Michael. We do I, I'm, have that much time. I'm going to peek around this. Uh, Don't touch me. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Goodbye, Michael. See you. I can't see you now. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week if we're alive. If we still feel that this is a useful Come service. back and see us on Double Talk. <laughs> I'm not even wearing a sleeve on my armpit. I have to sleep and sneeze right into my armpit. That would What's be... New? Then you have to take a shower or something. What do you do? Oh, look, we're still on. Are we still on? Double Talk. Look at these things. Don't forget to buy Chinar beer and uh, uh, Bonal. You can probably get at Kelly's. I think we're off.